Hi guys, a very interesting concept that we are going to study today. It's related to the topic time and work. I call it the chocolate method. Now, the first question, the first type in chocolate method is capacity problems. All right. Remember in school, we used to study such questions. A can do a work in 15 days. B can do the same work in 20 days. In how many days together will A and B complete the same task? Remember, we used to take total work as one. And then we used to write, if A can do one work in 15 days, so in one day, how much will A do? A will do one by 15. In one day, B will do one by 20. Now, I never questioned at that age that why are we taking the total work as one? Because it gives us fractions. Rather, start with the LCM of days given. You will never get fraction in individual work. That is the logic behind the chocolate method. So let me explain the method to you now. Take total work as equal to LCM of time. All right. That is the number of chocolates. So what is work? The work is to eat chocolates. Take care. In the next step, find individual work and then solve the question. Let me show this. Total work is LCM of time is what? 15 and 20? Right? So if you find LCM, you will get 60. So the total work is to eat 60 chocolates. Alright. Next step, find individual work. Now you don't need to take fractions. That's the point. 15 days, A eats 60 chocolates. So per day, how many chocolates will A eat? It's very simple. 60 by 15. So number of chocolates that A eats per day comes as 4 chocolates per day. I hope this is clear. I'm repeating. We took the LCM of time. Right? That gave us the number of chocolates that has to be eaten. So the number of chocolates came as 60. Right? 60 chocolates in 15 days. So per day, 4 chocolates. Alright? Next. Look at B. 60 chocolates in 20 days. So per day how much? 60 by 20 that is 3 chocolates per day. Yes? So it becomes a very simple question now. Now the question is asking you in how many days will A and B together eat the 60 chocolates. So add the 2. 4 plus 3. A and B together eat how many chocolates per day? 7 chocolates per day. How many chocolates are there? 60. So how much time will be taken? 60 divided by 7. This becomes the answer. Let me sum this up again. What I am saying is simply when time is given, take out the LCM and take it as total number of chocolates to be eaten. Right? It's converting maths into something which we can visualize. Eating chocolates. That is work. Alright? Now, if there are 60 chocolates, right? A eats 4 per day, B eats 3 per day. So, together they eat 7 per day. So, how, many, how much time will they take to complete the work together? 60 by 7. Now, this method avoids fractions and makes your solving faster than ever before. I hope this is clear. Thank you.